Welcome back to America's Retirement Headquarters, home of the Retirement Guys Formula and America's Medicare Associates with Nolan Baker and Dave Ross. 419-794-3030 is the phone number. That's 419-794-3030 online at ARHQ.com. Don't forget, if you missed the first half of the show or you just want to catch up on previous editions of America's Retirement Headquarters, head to Spotify, Apple Podcast, uh, YouTube, wherever you consume your media. Just search for America's Retirement Headquarters all the previous editions there for you to check out uh, at your leisure. Now, in the first half of the show, we were actually talking about uh, a target number that people are, are striving for to say that they're ready to retire. $1.8 million was the the number that was being thrown out. And uh, we have the conversation talking about how maybe you should focus more on how much you need uh, annually or perhaps even monthly. So hypothetically, let's say if you decided you did $50,000 a year in retirement for 30 years, what does that mean you would actually need to save? Well, if you took four uh, percent of your money every year, it's about one point two million dollars. So that is less than what we mentioned earlier. But surprisingly, if you took an annuity, if you used an annuity, you would need about seven hundred fifty thousand dollars to accomplish the same thing. And on top of that, you'd probably be dialing back on your market risk. So I have to wonder: are are people aware of this save less and get more feature when it comes to an annuity? I would say that over my twenty three years as a financial advisor, it was commonplace ten plus years ago for a client to say, you could talk to me about any kind of investment you want, just don't mention the word annuity. <laughs> and I would I would kind of just smile and say, okay, I won't mention the word annuity. Here at America's Retirement Headquarters, we talk about the independent income system, which is positioning assets to be able to provide a guaranteed income that will cover all of your basic necessities, your basic costs of being retired. Well, the 4% rule was if you put all of your money into different into a portfolio and drew on 4% of it a, a year, your nest egg should last you around 30 years in retirement. Well, what's changed over the last 20 years? People are living longer. Healthcare-related expenses are really skyrocketing. And what needs people will have for the money that they've saved up could very well change and pivot during their retired life. So when you talk about reducing your market risk, this is where actually looking at annuities can be a very positive thing because you're actually insuring an income where you know exactly how much income that annuity investment is going to generate. But on top of that, a lot of annuities today give you a lot of flexibility in terms of if you need uh, extended care or you need uh, long-term care, that funds can be made available to pay for those kinds of expenses. So annuities are a big part of not only the independent income system, but they also are helping people to prepare for the unknown, which is how much money am I going to need for health-related expenses? What happens if there is a recession? What happens if the market takes a takes a, a nosedive? How can we protect what we've saved and minimize their overall risk? Uh, you know, I tend to agree with you, Dave. Annuities are a very confusing topic. In fact, in you know my 30 years of doing this, you know, when you look at annuities, I do get people that come in and say, I can talk to you about anything but annuities. And I love talking stocks, so we can talk stocks all day long. When you look at the philosophy of the independent income system, stocks are absolutely an important part of a portfolio for long-term growth. But if you think about the investor who had all of their money in the stock market, retired in 2007, and then when we had 2008, they were really upside down pretty fast. So an annuity is just a term. It, what it means is that it's a contract with an insurance company, 
And with a contract, there's pros and cons. Like when we look at Judge Judy, right? It's what's in the contract that matters. Uh, you can get contracts that guarantee you a set interest rate for a set period of time. You know, right now what we have is we have interest rates the highest they've been in over 20 years. So sometimes that's attractive to people to lock in current interest rates. You have index annuities, which are contracts that can principally protect you against market loss, or you have other variable annuities. And variable annuities are the ones that I think typically get the bad rap. At least they get the bad rap from me because they tend to be the more expensive contracts. But again, there's pros and cons, as you talked about. You know, Some of the contracts that are out there today offer enhancements for income payments if you need long-term care. So being that this is a confusing topic, one of the things that we're going to do for our listeners is we're hosting an event. It's May 14th and also May 21st. If you want to know about the truth about annuities, the pros and cons, the ins and outs, what I'd recommend that you do is go over to our website, arhq.com, and sign up to come out. It's at Mancy's Italian Grill here in Toledo. Again, May 14th or May 21st. We're going to spend a little over an hour kind of diving deeper into this topic. So whether you've thought about maybe is an annuity right for me, or even if you've bought an annuity and it's only two or three years old, there's been dramatic changes in the last year that this is an event that's worthwhile to come out to and find out what are the updates about the insurance companies of America and how do you make sure that you take and put these into a position that can give you a little bit more peace of mind. 